Hi, welcome to the 3D Pen Dan. We were talking about the five platonic solids lately. And now it's time for dodecahedron. The basic plane one as well as some of the really fun variations. As usual, all of them cast some awesome shadows which makes them such perfect candidates for party decorations, among other things. So let's make some dodecahedrons, shall we? First things first, whichever version you decide to make, they will have all one thing in common, the dihedral angle which is the angle at which the 12 faces of the dodecahedron join to each other. So we will need to set our angle jig to 116 degrees to make sure the shape fits together and closes on itself. By the way, the video on how to make this angle jig contraption is in the description. If you missed the angle making episode. Lock the angle in with a couple of paper clips. And here we will put our first pentagon and continue with the second one at the 116 degree angle onto the work surface. Now that the most important part is set, we can continue on to make our pattern construct a pentagon. I will just copy the 2-inch sided one from the 3D pendant Etsy set of polygons to save time. You don't even have to cut yours out. I just like to do that because it's easier to see on the video. Now the easy part. Trace the pattern with your pen. Dodecahedron is made of 12 identical pentagons that come together at 20 points called vertices. The only thing wrong with this diagram is that we only need 30 edges and not 60. So to avoid the issue of unnecessarily doubling any lines, we will use the rolling method where each pentagon gets a turn to sit on the work surface and we can see exactly which edges of each particular pentagon are still missing. The first one will have five sides, but actually that will be the only one with five sides in the whole process. We will take it off and lean it against our 116 degree angle rest. Align it with the corners of the pattern and tape it on there so it stays where it should. Then I will trace what is left from the second pentagon, continuing from the side that's already there onto the work surface. As you can see, I will only need to make four sides to complete the second face. And here I have the first two faces joined at the 116 degree angle. Good start. The hard part is done. I have made the jump from 2D to 3D. The structure now stands on its own and I can ditch the angle jig because this angle will now determine the rest of the shape. I will still need to tape it down because it's a bit tippy and I also need to make sure all the corners stay aligned where they should fit with the pattern. To put the third face where it needs to go. And as you can see, this time I need to make just three sides to complete the third pentagon.
four faces. We are one third done. time I can just draw two sides. And I have six faces halfway there. And then just repeat with adding two to three sides as needed. three faces left means I am three quarters done. The last two faces will just need this one last line to separate them and we are there. All done, mission accomplished. We have a dodecahedron. If you are doing your geometry homework, you are done now. But actually, the real fun just starts from here. Pentagons are such awesome shapes because by connecting the corners, you can get a pentagram which is a five-pointed star that can be drawn by a single stroke of the pen. 
but if you do it in five strokes it will still look like it was done all in one. I am not particularly stressing about the perfection of my lines, but if you want yours super straight you can definitely use a ruler for all of this. And by repeating the whole process with this pattern, you get this particular variation. Looks cool. And you can have it do some awesome shadow magic. Because the pentagram points are in the same place as the corners of the original pentagons, we can actually forget the pentagons altogether and just join the stars. To make this structure a bit stronger, I will fill in the star points with some instant smoothing fill. If you missed the instant smoothing video, the link is in the description. Filling smoothly small shapes like these is what this technique is particularly good at. Or, if you don't want to fuss that much, just fill it the old-fashioned way. Here are the two textures next to each other, for comparison. But all of this is going to be on the inside of the shape, so just decide how much you care. It won't show much anyway. Here we go. This one is my favorite. left out the last face because I want to insert a light in it. Just keep in mind it needs to be LED. Anything hot would melt the plastic. The combination of filled and empty spaces makes awesome dancing shadows and provides hours of instant entertainment for children, adults and pets. Just add flashlight. Finally, if you want to make a design connected to the center of the pentagonal faces, then you can build a shape with the help of the central axis, which we used in so many previous projects. All you need is a perpendicular wire stuck in a base with a washer between the base and your work surface, if you want to go high tech. And yes, the work surface has to have a strategic hole in the center of it, as does your pattern. Here comes the fun part. If you put a pentagram in a pentagon, it will make a smaller pentagon in the center. And if you put a pentagram in that smaller pentagon, it will make an even smaller pentagon in the center. and so on until infinity. Except you run out of room and hit the middle of the whole thing. Which is actually what we were looking for in the first place. So we can poke a hole in it. I'm just going to fill the smallest star space solid because it is a bit too tiny to execute well as a star with the 3D pen. 
but feel free to try should you feel so compelled. The advantage of working on the central wire is that after you make the first half of the structure, you can then thread the opposite face onto the wire and it centers the project in position to form the next upcoming face on the work surface. If there are parts that are hard to reach, lift the whole thing and make whatever it is you can't reach first. And then drop the ball or in this case dodecahedron back down and attach it to the rest of the project. and repeat until done. Time for a victory shadow dance. There is fun to be had with geometry. So until next time, go and make something.